know, running the customer service team, we, we talk with about 2,000 people a day, roughly, on average. The most common thing we get is it, how a Yeti saved someone's life. We've had trucks flip over where the tundra sitting on the bed is stronger than the cab itself and keeps the cab from crushing down on someone's head. Even with the Rambler sitting in the cup holder, car catches fire, cops put the fire out and there's still ice in the Rambler. Somebody lost a finger and used the cooler to transport their finger until they get the hospital or sewn back on. We had a boat turnover where a guy floated on his Yeti for like uh, 24 hours till the Coast Guard found him the next day. You know, going to the trade shows with my dad in, in high school or whenever, you know, I, I would always, I had these people that I looked up to in the fishing industry. Most of them had to do with either writing articles or some sort of, you know, television fishing show. And Flip had Walker's K Chronicles, which was just- Best show of, ever. Yeah, that was un awesome. unbelievable. Come with me on a trip into angling adventure. We'll ride the ragged edge where the fish are big and wild. This is actually Tundra number one. This was the prototype of the Tundra cooler. Before these coolers came along, nothing looked like this. I really hate the term ambassador. Every company's got ambassadors now. I've always liked the term emissary. Anything but ambassador. It's essentially the highest recognition you can get in your outdoor sporting pursuit is to be recognized as a Yeti ambassador. Early on in the process, uh, Roy and Ryan gathered amazing people in the outdoors. You know, we were all, each of us was following in the wake of somebody else. Roy and Ryan just took that concept and made it part of their brand. There was stress involved, there was hard work, it was finding the right people, and, and never in our wildest dreams did we ever think that Yeti would turn in what it is today. Yeah.